Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ SPRC. I want to take the time here to guys to show you how to bind your receiver to your Spectrum remote. As I'm getting the question asked, how do I bind my remote to my receiver? Can I bind other remotes to other receivers? No, you cannot do that. Basically, if you have a Spectrum based remote, you can bind only on Spectrum. Now, that would be the SR4210 with ABC. ABC meaning with electronic stability assist or it would be an SR300 an SR2000 MR200 the MR is from Marine or the SR3100 or even the other new ones that the uh, 410 and so on and so on basically what we're going to need here is a remote remote right here or a bind plug and we're going to use a battery for this case here because I don't have a speaking control nearby or a vehicle one of the first thing we're going to do is on the receiver here we're going to find the bind plug this one says bat and bind that's where we're going to insert our pin or binding plug should I say now before plug it in we're going to go underneath our menu of a remote. This is going to be my DX4R Pro. We're going to turn the remote on. Now certain so remote is going to be a little bit different. The D DX4C, it's going to be on your side of your remote. That's where you're going to go in your menu. Or if you look like the DX, uh, DX2E, that's a button on top of the remote. Now basically if you have multiple models in your remote, you choose your model. I did choose the model in advance. We're just going to go underneath bind. And we're going to go select the bind. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but my bind is selected in the screen. Now this is where we're going to give it power. Now you could give it power to the auxiliary, the throttle, or the uh, basically the steering. It doesn't matter. On the spectrums, usually the outside is negative. The inside is your signal. New positive is always in the middle. Doesn't matter if you mix both of them. Now we're going to give power here. And it's going to start flashing here. And that's where we're going to hit our bind. Take a couple of seconds here. And our bind is done. On the DX4R, she does beep to you to tell you it is bounded. Light is solid, meaning it is bound. Basically, we need to shut her down, remove the bind plug, and plug whatever we want into it. That would be a throttle or a steering or even an auxiliary. And you're, you're good to go. Take your remote out of the bind. Go back to your main menu. And you're off. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button. And don't forget to, guys to subscribe if you did.